Hey, what's going on social media family? Thank you so much for tuning back in. Uh, this is Michael Cabradilla right here in sunny San Diego, California. We've been reading through this book right here, 100 Simple Secrets to, excuse me, to Happy People, What Scientists Have Learned and How You Can Use It. Uh, we've been reading through this book. We're on chapter number 75, and we've been reading each chapter, sharing some insight, maybe posing some questions. So we as a whole, we as a community can be happier people for ourselves, for our community, uh, for our family, our business partners, and, and whatnot. So we're on chapter number 75. Chapter number 75 is listen to music. I love this, especially with my background as being a DJ for 20 plus years. So let's read this, share some insight, and uh, see if we can continue the conversation. So listen to music. Music communicates to us on many different levels and our favorite music tends to transport our mind into its favorite place. Do you know what happened when the professors played Mozart in their classes while the students worked on a series of tests? The students actually did better. Why? Because scientists have found that music stimulates our brain. Contrary to some reports that have suggested this effect occurs only in infants, the actual research suggests music has positive effects for any age. Music excites our mind, whether we are 1, 41, or even 101. A positive effect on mood was found for 92% of individuals when they listened to music of their choice. Excitement and happiness were typical reactions to the music. I totally believe in this, uh, especially with my background as a DJ. You know, I don't know when I thought of this or what seed was planted in my mind, but years ago, I mean, this is 15, 20 years ago, I remember thinking to myself, as a DJ even, that when we play music, it makes people move a certain way, think a certain way, it taps into memory banks is essentially what music does. So when I'm behind the turntables or behind the controller and I play a song, hopefully it's a song that some people in the crowd remember because it makes them think of great times, good times. Like I remember music you know, from my college days and that music still today when I hear it, makes me happy, it makes me smile, makes me think of you know, fun times that we've had. There are certain songs that I learned or heard uh, you know, during trips and traveling, traveling to Europe, traveling to Brazil, and trips that I've taken where that song, that was the song that I listened to. I heard that song when I was on that trip and it makes me think of the good times I had on that particular trip and it makes me think of good people that I've surrounded myself with. And so that's the first thing that I thought of years ago was that music taps into our memories. So when we're playing music for, or from a DJ's point of view, at a wedding, let's say, for the cocktail hour, for the dinner, what I like to do is during the dinner, you know, we start off, you know, with maybe a little bit more mellow of music if that's what they choose in the very beginning, but we ramp it up over time. And the whole goal is by the end of dinner for some weddings is to have people singing along and getting energized and even maybe out of their seats already dancing because they are excited about tapping into the memory banks, thinking about the song that they're listening to and thinking like, wow, I remember this song, let me sing along. And now it's ready to party, right? Like I think of those things. The other thing I think of too is I remember DJing a wedding years ago and uh, the couple uh, decided that they wanted to have some 50s music during dinner. Uh, and I remember uh, creating and curating the playlist and we were playing the playlist and uh, you know, I took a restroom break and as I came back from the restroom, this lady like grabbed my arm and she said something like, hey, um, did, who told you to play this music? <laughs> and I thought I was in trouble. And she said, no, like, I, I love it, it's great. And it was, I mean, there was Elvis that was playing and all other types of music from the 50s. And she pointed out a lady, she said, see that lady over there? That lady is the bride's grandmother. Now, she has been in a skilled nursing facility for quite some time and we didn't even know if she was even going to make it to the celebration today. She doesn't talk much. Uh, she's fairly quiet. But during dinner, she has been singing and kind of dancing in her chair this entire time. And she's been really 
affected and in a positive way by the music that's being played and it's awesome and I remember glancing over to that table and watching the bride's grandmother enjoying herself and having a good time because more than likely that music was tapping into her memory banks. I do a lot of business networking in the community and one of the organizations that I'm a part of is a senior based networking group meaning all the people who are part of the networking group uh, you know, they're there to help and connect with people who serve senior citizens in the community. And I remember hearing from one of the people, the professionals that I connected with, and they said they utilize music all the time in senior communities to tap into memory banks, to make people feel good, feel comfortable, and feel happy. So that's what we're talking about here. Another simple secret of happy people. <laughs> so... Uh, anyways, what do you think? What are your thoughts? We would love for you to uh, put some comments in the comment section uh, and uh, we'll continue. Uh, we'll get to the next video, video number 76. We're on our way to 100. Take care. God bless you.